channel if you're new here my name is nicole and i post videos every week today i'm going to show you my summer favorites this is stuff i've been like living for the summer so i think i want to start off with beauty products first since i feel like that's the most important thing during the summer these are some sunscreens i've been loving this is by sunbum I've been really liking this brand for um, sun protection. This is the mineral sunscreen and it's SPF 30. I don't use this every day unless I'm spending the entire day in the sun because I don't really want to uh, have too much protection because then I won't tan very well. But I love this, it's gluten free, paraben free, oxybenzone free, rin, some things I cannot pronounce. And it's hyperallergenic and vegan, so this is a great product. It's good for your skin and it also smells. I don't know why, but I love that sunscreen smell. I don't know, it just makes me think of summer. I know some people hate it, but I just really like it. This, this is my actual favorite. This was pretty expensive. Both these products were pretty expensive. I think the sunscreen was 17 and this was 20, but it's worth it, guys. Okay, sorry for my funky looking tan, but this stuff really works. Like at first when I was tanning, like using the sunscreen, I wasn't like, I wasn't getting any darker. But when I started using this, I feel like the first day I started to notice a difference. Like it's insane. This is the premium sunscreen tanning oil and it has SPF 15. So it's also helping you bronze, but also giving you some coverage because I don't, I don't want to burn. I burn so easily. My, my neck is kind of burned after like one day. So I have very sensitive skin and I really burn easily. So this is perfect for me. It's a dark tanning oil with marula oil, argan oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, green tea, aloe vera, and it's dermatologist tested. Love this. I definitely think it's worth the money because I tan so slowly and this has really helped like progress my tan and make it look much better and darker. So for some beauty products, I got this during the Sephora VIB sale. It came with a body wash too, but that's in my shower right now. But this has like the mini spray and the little moisturizer. I love this stuff. It smells really good. It's really thick too. But I actually really like the Coco, the, the Coco Cabana Cream more. I think it's just more sweeter and more uh, of a summery scent. I know some people really don't like it, but I feel like it's just kind of hit, a mi hit or miss for some people. It's definitely a hit for me. I love it. It's the one in the blue bottle. So if you want to check that out, it's pretty much almost gone. I've used like all of it. And then I also really like this. It's a little travel size of the Bum Bum spray. Is it Bum Bum spray? No, Brazilian Crush. I absolutely love this. I have the bigger version and it's lasted me years, like no joke. So I got this one for on the go and I just love the smell of this. It smells so good. I love it. You spray it on and go. It kind of like is a bougier version of Victoria's Secret smells, which I'm obsessed with. I love their summer scents. I don't really use any of the other scents besides like the summer collections they have because it's just so... I just love a good trip to an island paradise, you know what I mean? This is the Marc Jacobs Kissability. It's like a coconut oil lip gloss, but it's more of a moisturizing lip balm. I don't really see it as a gloss. It feels so nice. I use this every morning and every night. I try not to use it too much because it is like 30 bucks and I don't have the money to buy that all the time. So I love this and it's clear, it's really nice. It's really moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky like a gloss. It kind of just feels like a really bougie lip balm. Definitely recommend that for summer. It smells like it faintly. If you don't like scents, this is really good for you. But if you have a really like strong smell to your strong scent of smell, it does kind of smell a little bit like coconut. Oh shoot, I missed a sun care product. This is the Hoola SPF 30. I use this on my face, protect from the sun. I use like a strong SPF on my face because no one wants a sunburn on their face. And I also really want to prevent aging. And it just comes this little squirting too. And you push this little knob out and it just comes out. It doesn't really have a smell, it's just a little bit. It kind of smells like fresh and kind of like that sunscreen smell. But this is actually cruelty free and vegan as well. So if you're into that, this one's really nice. I think I'd go with the purple one. This is the Sun Silk Drops because it kind of like has a silky tint to it. This is my all time favorite. I purchased this like twice and I use it every single summer. This is the Bali Body BB Cream in the shade Natural. I love this stuff. It really like sets to 
your skin tone as well so i really like that uh, it has spf 15 so that's great i like to double if i do go out i like to put a sunscreen on and my foundation as well to have spf just for extra protection i love this brand so much i just put it on my hands and rub it in and it just gives a nice little glow went to marshall's the other day and they have some good stuff like i forgot that marshall's has like really great beauty products it is kind of hard because you have to like really take your time going through the beauty products because people open them and it's just kind of a mess so you really have to like take your time so maybe on a day when you're not doing anything and you just have like a really good time to relax and take your time in that store i could be there for hours looking for the makeup products this one was brand new unopened no one had messed with it, so I got it. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. I got this for like seven bucks, and I'm pretty sure this retails for like 30 or something like that. So I think that's amazing, and it's just really nice. I think I got this in, this is in glossy black, and just like a really nice tube to it. I like the little spirals it has. I, sh I saw another one that wasn't touched. I honestly should have got it, but I didn't. I should have though. Ugh, I regret that so much, but. And then I also picked up this. This was untouched too, so I got it. This is by Becca and it's Glow Blaze Stick. It's like one of those like sticks you rub on your face and it gives her like a really nice glow. Um, I should be able to see this on camera. It gives a really dewy natural finish. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see it. It just kind of gives like a really nice glaze. Love it so much. And it's not really sticky. Like I know products like that are usually sticky, but it just kind of like feels like a bomb. I'm gonna move on to some fashion. Start off with shoes. These are by Dolce Vita. Sorry if they're kind of dirty. These are so cute. I love the little two straps. I think that's really in trend right now. It's like the two straps and like the chunky sandals, but this is kind of more of a simple sandal. I just love these so much and I do wear a size seven and a half in Dolce Vita. I think they run kind of small. I usually wear um, a size eight normally, so I just went like a half size down. And these are so cute just to slip on and go out for the day or to the beach. And then if I'm wanting to be a little bit more classier, I have these ones right here. These are just a simple black sandal with straps. They go, then I have these sunglasses I've been wearing to the pool literally every day. They're by Rock and I got these from Princess Polly. It's a tortoise shell color. I like a cheap pair of sunglasses when I go to the pool or to the beach. Just in case I lose them, I'm not gonna like cry about it. <laughs> Cause like I can't imagine, like I don't understand when people bring Gucci sunglasses to um, public pools and beaches. I just think that's not a good idea unless you can afford to replace them. Then I wanted to mention this cute little bag. It's by with jeans. They have the cutest clothes ever. And when you purchase from them, you get a free tote. So this is the bag. It's so cute. And I have two of these because I purchased like twice from them. Since I have two of them, I like to use one for the pool. And the other one I like to use for like supermarket, supermarket, farmer's market, stuff like that. So one I like to just use it. So if I get it dirty, it doesn't really matter because then I have like the newer one. Yeah, I just like to take that to the pool and just throw my stuff in there. It's a really great bag. So if you purchase anything from with Jean, you'll get a free tote. It's sponsored by them. I just love them so much. They have the cutest clothes. They're all like inspired by like Italy and Paris. I just love the vibe. It's so just just gives me such summer vibe. So I recently purchased something from Frankie's Bikinis. I've never shopped there before. It's like an LA brand and I absolutely love their stuff. I I'm not really into swimsuits and like swimwear and stuff just because I feel like I just don't go out enough. But lately this summer, I'm really liking to go outside to the pool and just like having a really like a fun time because I live in LA now and it's just sunny all the time and it just makes me want to like frolic in a dress or something. So I got this little cover up. Guys, I bought this and then they had their 4th of July sale. How unfortunate is that? <laughs> but I got this in a size small. It's so cute. It's also an adjustable dress. I was worried about how it fits because dresses fit me so weird. Like I just don't understand. Like I just fit so weird. Cause like my like I'm like I'm thin right here. Like I have nothing, and then I <laughs> now I'm wearing my sweatpants. And then I have um, like a kind of a big chest. I don't know. I wear a 34C, so it's kind of hard to find clothes that fit me because like it'll zip and then it won't zip anymore. So this is really adjustable, and you can like fix it for like right here and it kind of just loosens and you can just adjust it. And the back is open, it's really breezy. 
it is see-through so i wouldn't wear white underwear i tried to wear that and you could totally see through it so i feel like nude underwear would be the best option because then it would really blend in with your skin tone so i would definitely recommend that if you get this dress and you want to wear it out in the day it's really like a full cover-up from the website it said you could wear it as like clothing item too i actually did purchase again from their um for the july sale and i got a one piece it's a white one piece and it's so cute i really recommend them they are pretty pricey so i would definitely save your money and kind of invest into that if you're looking for like good swimwear that's gonna last you a while moving on to some home decor i picked up a candle from marshall's i use i always love to check out their candles because they have some really good ones for cheap this one was 7.99 and it's called Calming Waves. I love to light this when I take a bath. I have this book. It's called 111 Places in Los Angeles That You Must Not Miss. I love this. Like, first off, look how cute and aesthetic it is. It pretty much matches my top. It's just so nice. It's just so cute. I got this a while ago from Urban Outfitters. And it just has, like, like really great places to visit. I feel like I never have time to actually visit these places but it's still like, you know, nice to look at the pictures, I guess. But yeah, I really wanna try to go to one of these places sometime soon because it's just so cute. Like, look at all this. Look how pretty. When am I ever gonna have time to do any of this? But it's still really nice to look at when I'm bored. So if you live in LA and you really wanna try check out some new places that you've never been to, I would definitely check this out. Or if you're visiting, I would check this out as well. I'll try to see if it's still on, um, urban outfitters i hope it is so i'll link it down below if i can find it. thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe and make sure to follow me on all my social media and i'll see you next one bye guys